Hey, welcome back to Cosmic Horizons. I'm Matt. You're sitting there listening to this. You can feel the weight of your body in the chair. You have memories of yesterday, of last year, of your childhood. The world outside your window seems consistent, solid, and it has a history that stretches back billions of years. But what if I told you that there's a terrifying line of reasoning, born from our most fundamental laws of physics, that suggests you and your entire remembered past might have just popped into existence a split second ago? A disembodied, self-aware brain, floating in the void, hallucinating a universe that isn't really there. Welcome to the mind-bending paradox of the Boltzmann brain. To understand this, we need to go back to the 19th century, to a physicist named Ludwig Boltzmann. He was obsessed with a concept called entropy. Now, entropy in simple terms is the universe's trend from order to disorder. It's why a hot cup of coffee cools down in a room, but a cold cup never spontaneously heats up. It's why an ice cube melts in your glass. It's the arrow of time. Boltzmann had a brilliant insight. He realized this trend towards disorder isn't an absolute law, but a matter of overwhelming probability. It's extremely unlikely for all the fast-moving molecules in your coffee to randomly huddle together and make it hotter. But it's not impossible. Given enough time, the random jiggling of atoms will, by sheer chance, occasionally create a moment of order from disorder. This is where things get cosmic. Fast forward to our modern understanding of the universe. We believe we live in a universe that started in a highly ordered, low-entropy state, the Big Bang, and it's been evolving towards a high-entropy, maximum disorder state, what we call heat death, ever since. This is the ultimate source of our arrow of time. But here's the puzzle. Why did the universe start in such an ordered state? It seems incredibly unlikely. This is where the thought experiment kicks in. In an infinitely vast and old universe, one that has reached or is approaching its heat death, the cosmos is a vast, near-uniform sea of particles, randomly fluctuating. In this near-equilibrium state, the most common way for a low-entropy, ordered state to appear isn't through the gradual 13.8 billion year evolution of stars, planets, and life. No, that's far too structured. It's far more probable, statistically speaking, for a single self-aware brain complete with all its memories and sensations of a past that never was to spontaneously assemble from a random quantum fluctuation. That is a Boltzmann brain. Think about it. The probability of a full universe forming is astronomically small, but the probability of just one brain with its limited set of neurons and memories forming is still astronomically small, but less astronomically small than an entire universe. In a truly infinite cosmos, over infinite time, these freak fluctuations are not just possible, they are inevitable. And in fact, they should vastly outnumber the ordinary brains that evolved in a universe like ours. So the paradox is this. If our current scientific model of an eternal expanding universe is correct, then the number of these random disembodied Boltzmann brains should be infinite, while the number of real evolved brains like ours is finite. Therefore, statistically, you are almost certainly a Boltzmann brain. I am almost certainly a Boltzmann brain, a momentary fluke in a dying cosmos destined to dissolve back into chaos in the next instant. Now, before you completely question your reality, know this. Most cosmologists see this not as a proof that we are illusions, but a serious problem for our current models. The Boltzmann brain paradox is a reductio ad absurdum. It's a logical argument that shows our assumptions might be flawed. The leading solution involves dark energy and the accelerating expansion of the universe. In a cosmos accelerating apart due to a cosmological constant, the vacuum of space has a kind of intrinsic energy that might prevent the universe from ever reaching a true stable equilibrium. It might just keep expanding and diluting forever, making the formation of large complex fluctuations like a Boltzmann brain impossible even over infinite time.
the universe essentially becomes a vacuum too thin for complex things to spontaneously form. So, the very fact that we are sitting here, having this coherent conversation in a seemingly stable universe that has obeyed its laws for billions of years, is actually powerful evidence against certain models of an eternal, static cosmos. Our existence itself rules them out. In the end, the Boltzmann brain isn't likely a description of our reality. It's a warning sign. A flare shot up from the edges of our understanding, telling us that our picture of the cosmos is still incomplete. It's a terrifying, profound idea that forces us to ask the most fundamental question. What does it mean to be real in a universe governed by probability and chance? And for now, the most comforting answer might be the simplest one, that the coffee you drank this morning was almost certainly real. What do you think? Are we real or just a cosmic glitch? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you want to keep exploring the deep end of the cosmos with me, hit that like button and subscribe to Cosmic Horizons. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch you next time.